I'd like to move on to Dotcom because he was on the programme, he was on Q&A last week and he had quite a bit to say and I'd like us to watch just a, a little bit sure. of what he had to say. Do you believe John Key has lied? Yes. Do you have evidence of this? Yes. Okay, so the answer to both of those questions is no. Um, he's completely and factually incorrect. So to say that someone lies means that you have to deliberately mislead people, and there's no way I have done that. My office has gone through every piece of correspondence my electoral office has had, every piece of correspondence that I've had that could be any way related to this area, any meetings I have had, what my ministries have done that I'm responsible for, there is absolutely nothing there. So what proof do you think he has? Nothing. It'll be like normal. So he'll be joining one dot with another and trying to create some outcome over here. Look, let's understand what's happening here. The government actually doesn't care about Kim.com. He might think we get up every morning and it's a top of mind issue, but it's not. In fact, most New Zealanders don't care about Kim.com. The person who cares about Kim.com is Kim.com. And as we've said all the way along, if this guy believes he's so innocent, get on a plane, go to America, fight your case. If you win, come back to New Zealand, no problem. But Dotcom Prime Minister this year, you've had the spy presentation you forgot about, the cafeteria visit you can't remember, the no, John no, Banks no, report no, no, that you won't no, read. No, let me finish, on, let me no, finish that's please. That's all wrong. That's all factually wrong. Well, so, well okay. has it hurt you? Has it well, hurt you, do you think? Well, in the end, that's for others to judge what they think. But let's get a few facts right. So, so basically, when it comes to this guy, that's the United States that have decided to invoke the extradition treaty and want to take him back to the United States to be tried for what they perceive are crimes. That's a matter for them. We have the extradition treaty in New Zealand. No one from any political party seems to be saying we should rip that up. So when I went to GCSB, I went there and I had a presentation on something completely and utterly different. And there was one slide that had an icon on the bottom of it. The, the director who was with me couldn't remember it. And when the advice was given to me to put together all of my parliamentary answers, no one in that organisation could remember it. So it wasn't what was happening. I deal with thousands of pieces of paper and thousands of briefings a year. So the simple bottom line is, I don't think any New Zealander would expect me to, to remember one particular icon when in fact the attention was on something completely different. I was Do you there think for a different dot reason. com would be one of the low points of the year for you? No, not at all. What would be then? 